What's going on, everybody? A little baseball news this morning. Boston Red Sox outfielder Jaron Duran has been suspended for two games for, well, for responding to a heckler during Sunday's 10-2 loss to the Houston Astros. What had happened here is a heckler, and I'll play the video, um, was, was basically yelling at Duran saying, you need a tennis racket. You need a tennis racket to hit that. You need a tennis racket to hit that. And Duran just turned around and said, shut up, you effing naughty word. I can't say that word here on YouTube because of terms and conditions. However, you'll notice in the video that the commentators for NESN they they didn't seem to hear it because they didn't mention it at all that he responded to a heckler. So here we go. Here's the clip. And uh, you guys can decide for yourselves. Duran at 296 with runners in scoring position for the year. So you hear the heckler say, you need a tennis racket. You need a tennis racket. So here's the statement from Duran after the game. He apologized saying he used a horrific word. During tonight's game, or I should say today's game, I used a truly horrific word when responding to a fan. I feel awful knowing how many people I offended and disappointed. I apologize to the entire Red Sox organization, but more importantly to the LGBTQ community. Our young fans are supposed to be able to look up to me as a role model, but tonight I fell far short of that responsibility. I will use this opportunity to educate myself and my teammates and to grow as a person. To educate yourself. Dude, you're suspended for two games. I mean, I get it. It's 2024. We have evolved as a society. And in my opinion, we've become a soft society where we're perpetually offended by everything. The word he said, he didn't say it to be derogatory to the LGBTQ community. In fact, he said it in the context of what some of us have used that word for in the past to call the person an idiot, a moron. Quite honestly, a dumbass. And I'll tell you, there's been a lot worse picked on mics during NFL games. Said between players. And none of those players get suspended. There's been a lot worse said coming from the stands around a basketball court at NBA games. In fact, I can remember back in the day, there was a guy, he was a professional heckler. He would sit behind the visiting bench at Washington, well, they're Wizards now, but Washington Bullets games, and just heckle the visiting team. Like you wouldn't believe. So yeah, there have been worse things said as far as hecklers to, to, to athletes and between the athletes themselves on the field. And none of these people get suspended. None of these people get thrown out of the stadium. Duran also explained on Monday that he let the heckler get to him saying just a heckler heckling me the entire game. And I just let the moment get the best of me. I said something I shouldn't be saying. Again, what, what is he? How? How's he going to educate himself? This is baseball. This was spur of the moment. He just turned and responded. He said the first thing that came to his mind. But that's not enough, folks. No, that's not enough. The Boston Red Sox have decided that the salary that he's not going to get for those two games, they're going to take it. They're going to donate his salary to a gay organization called PFLAG. The Federation of Parents and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, according to CBS News.
So there's there's the there's the woke virtue signal right there. Couldn't expect anything more from the ownership group of the Red Sox. I wanted to say that I've had some fans reach out to me and tell me that they're disappointed in me. I want to let them know that I am sorry for my actions and I'm going to work on being better. Durant said Monday in the Red Sox locker room. Many agreed with the apology and suspension, but others felt it was evidence the American has become too woke and apologetic. You can see that on the comments here on this post from Awful Announcing. Warning, slur included in clip below, as if you're about to watch a Mexican cartel video or something. Crying, laughing emojis. He's just like me. The F word is back. Black SUVs rolling up to the stadium now will force him to watch DEI inclusion videos. Five years ago, this was a great comeback. Good times. Yeah, see, it's because... It's because a certain group of people deem this word to be offensive that it has now become offensive. When actually, if you look at the context in which he uses it, granted, it's a word that really shouldn't be used, but the context matters. The context has meaning. <laughs> Jaron Duran didn't apologize to these leftists. America has your back. They're acting like they've never used words themselves. COD games are even more explicit. Yeah. COD, Counter-Strike, Fortnite. You guys would wither and, and, not, and not believe what you're hearing from these kids, these teenagers, these preteens in these waiting rooms during the game. When it comes to Call of Duty and Counter-Strike and Battlefield 2 or Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 3, any of the Battlefield games, uh, Fortnite, Apex Legends, any of these games. I've heard worse language come out of a 13-year-old's mouth playing online. It's Boston. We've all heard worst. <laughs> Next time the slurs used, please use this warning. <laughs> Wait, Harry J. Sisson was at the Red Sox game? That's a good one. Um, I made a comment earlier tonight that I guess went out over the air that I am deeply ashamed of. If I have hurt anyone out there, I can't tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart. I'm so very, very, very sorry. I pride myself and think myself as a man of faith. As there's a drive into deep left field by Castellanos, it will be a home run. <laughs> now this person here, she takes the opposite side. Professionalism matters. Even under pressure, Durant's outburst is unacceptable no matter the provocation. Athletes should, should set better examples. <laughs> Well, she's not wrong. Oh no, he said a mean word. MLB thought they had a new star after his all-star game MVP. Well, about that. Yeah, don't, 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 don't forget that this kid was the MVP of this year's all-star game. Now, there are some other comments like, I swear people are such effing pansies these days. That's from Salty Goat. I agree. Never apologize to the woke mob. I'd be canceled for life if the left found my Call of Duty voice chat logs. Didn't matter if he would have bent the knee so far backwards it broke off. He was always going to get suspended. Remember, kids, never apologize. That's just a few. So there you have it. Jaron Durant suspended because he used a word that we can't use here on YouTube. Because it was caught on a hot mic and he was responding to a heckler. And again, folks, got to remember when you use words, con context matters.
So what do you guys think about this? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And as always, thank you to everyone, both new viewers and returning viewers, for watching this video. And with that, I will see you guys.